So, uh, you know, I've been in games for 20 odd years, and when I started in games, we didn't trust C, and we wrote performance sensitive parts in assembler, and then we moved on to not trusting C <laughs> and writing in C, and then we moved on to not trusting STL and writing in C, and now we're somewhere around there, and we're not trusting modern C very much, <laughs> and we're writing in C. In C++. So, you know, there's going to be nothing new in this for this crowd, but this is kind of like you might talk to people who are skeptical about modern C++ because this is a common kind of thing that people say. In fact, this is common about more than modern C++. This is, people say this about things like unit tests or, <laughs> or strong static types or collaboration. Um, <laughs> but, but, you know, being, uh, these people still have a problem, which is that they have to hire C++ programmers, and today that means hiring modern C++ programmers. So here is my kind of standardized, guaranteed seven features plus or minus two of modern C++ that, that, that you can adopt today piecemeal in the code base, which isn't modern, which is still 9803, and nobody should complain about them. The first one, of course, is override. Uh, this, if you do nothing else, do this, <coughs> tell people, because it finds real bugs. Uh, I found a four-year-old bug in my code base because of this. You know, just, just as you touch code, just add override to your virtual function, then the compiler says, that doesn't override anything, and you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then you hit git blame, and you're like, oh. <laughs> it happens, it happens. All right, number two, underlying types for enums. Brilliant. You know, we all like enums. You don't have to do kind of bit width forcing values anymore. You can do forward declarations. This helps with serialization. There's nothing not to like. And it works on old style enums as well as new style scoped enums. I hope nobody has any complaints about that. This one, using over type def, it's one character fewer to type. I never, you know, despite being a C program for nearly 20 years, I never found type def straightforward or readable. And these days, function pointers in particular. I just used actually trailing return type for that because I think of an auto star as a thing that means pointed to function. <clears throat> this is an interesting one, default memory initialization, because this, in a language that actually is fast becoming optimization required, this can improve debug performance, I've found. And, and if you go to those Gobot links, you'll see exactly uh, how. But I don't have time in this lightning talk. So, you know, to games programmers, Debug performance is still important, um, so this can actually help. And there's lots of structs scattered around the code that um, kind of just hang out there and just have default constructors just to set the values. Um, so this helps with actually debug performance sometimes. Uh, here's another easy one that no one should be able to complain about. Just, uh, of course, we all know this. Take your old uh, non-copyable classes and make them deleted uh, special member functions. Turn the link error into a more understandable <coughs> compile error. Number six is a very simple recipe. Um, many code bases that I've encountered have this length of <coughs> define. Uh, X would actually better be an array there or you'd be in trouble. Um, of course, C++11, only C++11 context were required on that one and it's, it's safe. So even if you don't want to dive into context for usage as a whole, you don't want to change up your code base as a whole, this is a good thing to tell people. It's extra type safety for, for no cost. So it's just a simple recipe they can apply. And number seven, explicit bool. So get rid of the safe bool idiom. Another great thing. Um, take out all that hacky stuff with the pointers to member functions and internal types, and you get just explicit <coughs> operator bool, and it, does, it gives you bool where you want it, and it doesn't give you bool where you don't want it. So there's a plus or minus two here. If, if they're lapping this stuff up, you know, you might, might move on to say, well, get rid of your old hacky static assert using your size of trickery, because that's in the language now, and you can tell them that compiles faster because of it, probably. <laughs> and it's certainly less code to maintain. And um, if they're really liking modern C++, <coughs> then my number one thing uh, is uh, Chrono. Um, this really improved uh, code bases I've, I've, I've put it on. Um, it has the great advantage that um, you can apply it piecemeal, and how it is answering questions on Stack Overflow, anything you have about it, <coughs> he's probably already answered. <laughs> so, so this is the list. You know, if you talk to people who are skeptical about modern C++, my thought is you can tell them any of these, and there's pretty much no downside. And they don't have to like change up the whole code base. They don't have to kind of do anything new. They can just do what they're doing. But these will make their life better. Thank you very much.